Hey guys, I'm Scott and this is Cooking with Brio. Today we have an awesome cedar plank salmon recipe for you. It's topped with strawberry salsa. The cedar plank salmon, which I'm actually gonna do two ways, is gonna be really heavily spiced and uh, I think we're really gonna enjoy it, so stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put together this salsa. That way it can kind of marinate, get some of those flavors. We got strawberries, onions, jalapenos, cilantro, lime, and then smoked pap paprika, chili powder, brown sugar, which is gonna give it some really good sweetness and balance the spice. And of course, salt, you can't forget salt. We'll salt to taste. We'll start chopping. All right, so we got our salsa prepped. It, I tasted it, it's gonna kind of marinate together. It's gonna be really good. Now we're gonna get the uh, spice rubbed together for this salmon. Um, I mentioned I'm doing salmon two ways. I'm gonna get into that, but first we're gonna mix this together. We got our brown sugar, we got our salt, and I'm just gonna um, salt to taste. I don't wanna go overboard, so I'll save a little bit. Smoked prep paprika, which gives it a little sweetness as well. So it's really a balance of sweet and spicy, and we have our chili powder. Set those off to the side, mix those up. All right, so cooking with brown sugar is a really good thing with salmon. In order to have it not be too sweet, you add the chili powder, it offsets the sweetness, and uh, this is gonna be really delicious. So what we're gonna do now, I have one piece of salmon. These look delicious. I have one piece that has the skin on, and what I did is descaled this. Um, I'm actually gonna cook this right on the grate and we're gonna try to go for a crispy salmon here. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. And then this one, we're cooking right on a cedar plank. This was soaked in water so that it doesn't light on fire, especially over a hot wood fire like that. Um, so we're gonna cook that over top of a cedar plank. It's gonna give it some really good flavor, help it be really moist. And uh, we're gonna use the se same seasoning for both of these. So first, before I put the seasoning on this salmon, what I'm gonna do is just cut into that skin in the back. I'm just gonna cut a couple, uh, about a quarter inch in, I'm gonna cut into the back of that skin just to score it. And you don't wanna go too far, but that's gonna help it get really crispy. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little salt in there as well. And you just wanna be kind of delicate with it. It doesn't have to be perfect like most things but just get in there about a quarter to half inch, and then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt in there as well. Get it down in there, it's gonna be really delicious. And just cover that skin. Now, I know what you're thinking, I don't wanna eat salmon skin. Once this crisps up, it's gonna be really, really good. I am gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the back, so it's gonna kinda of fry it when I put it on the grill, and just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on there. And this is gonna part, be the part that we put face down. And we're hoping that that comes out really crispy. It should be good. Spread that on. It's key to get rid of the scales. You don't wanna be biting into the scales. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but it makes it really, really delicious. So that's good. We're gonna flip that bad boy over and we're gonna season both of these with our spice mixture here. And you can just kinda start like this and then get your hands dirty after a while. And just kind of rubbing that right into the salmon, especially on this plank. And that is gonna be tasty. Don't wanna leave any ingredients lay. And it'll kind of melt in, the sugar will like melt into the salmon. It's gonna be really, really good. All right, we're gonna go onto the grill. We wanna make sure this is good and hot. I did lower it to the fire. We have a good fire going on here because we're cooking skin side down on the salmon. That's actually gonna help protect it and we want it to be scorching hot. And I think we're at a good, a good spot. We're at like the three second rule there. And again, we're going skin, skin down on this at a real hot portion. And that's what you wanna hear and we're hoping for the best with that. Now we'll go on with our cedar plank. 
We want that on a hot part of the grill as well. We're gonna put that right there, and if I have to lower it to get more heat to that, I will. The cedar plank is gonna take a little longer to cook because it has that wood barrier between it. This one's gonna cook a little quicker and hopefully we'll get some crispy skin on it. Now we just gotta be patient. It's, first of all, it's smelling delicious. Uh, the, the cedar plank one is definitely cooking slower. We are gonna try to flip this one with the crispy skin. It's a little bit of an experiment. First time I've tried it actually over the open fire like that. Normally I'll do it in a cast iron pan, but I wanted to get that smoky flavor. I'm gonna flip it and put it um, top side down on this. That way it'll protect it and help it cook evenly the rest of the way. Now for the fun part. Okay, listen to this. Oh baby, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna finish it off that way. That way it doesn't get overcooked. It should get nice and moist in the middle. And I'm gonna lower this grate a little bit. Again, we have the cedar plank protecting it, so it's gonna take a little longer to cook. That smell and flavor is gonna be out of this world. All right, so we're just, this is finishing up. I have the, uh, the crispy skin one. I finished it off on the cedar plank. The other one should be good. I did put a little tin foil over top of it because it, it, it wasn't quite finishing the top out well. So I just need to get a little more heat up top and it's starting to finish out really well. Uh, probably just a couple more minutes on that yet. I am gonna get this guy out of here. And again, this is like wood, so you wanna be careful with it. If you get flare ups or anything like that, it's probably because it wasn't soaked enough or your fire's a little too hot. It's a happy medium, you gotta find a balance. Mine was flaring up a little bit. I pulled it off to the side. That way the wood stopped burning. Um, and if you have to grab another piece of, of uh, cedar wood, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take this one over. This should be done. Good rule of thumb, whenever you're finishing up a, f a piece of fish, you can just grab a little bit of lemon juice. I don't wanna go too crazy because I don't wanna make it soggy, um, but just a little bit of lemon juice goes a long way. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that into the cracks mostly. That's gonna give really good flavor. And then we'll wait for the other one to be done. Now this salsa, I would like to put it on top, but I don't wanna ruin the crispy skin. So I'm just gonna put it around it and you kind of incorporate it as you eat it. The other one, we're gonna to top it with it and it's gonna be awesome. All right, this thing is time to pull it off. We had to kind of trick it to get some heat up top, but it is looking just Oh my goodness, get a whiff of that. Again, we got some hot wood. So you can see that these turned out very differently. This one has so much moisture. This one's a little crispy on top. Most likely we're not gonna eat the skin where it's just gonna peel kind of right off the skin and that flavor is gonna be fantastic. So let's top it. Now we got two different kinds. And we gotta dig in here. Finish this with a little lemon juice. And there you have it. Cedar plank, crispy skin salmon. The only thing left to do is dig in. All right, I'm gonna try this cedar plank first because that's what this recipe was all about. I'm just gonna take a little piece off the end and it should flake off nicely. Look at that. Get a little bit of the salsa in there with it. And that is one excellent bite. Mmm. That's fantastic. That is so good. You can actually taste a little bit like the cedar flavor in it. It just, it's not real, real strong, but it just gives it a little bit of that smokiness. And now for this guy, this is gonna be fun. Mmm. There, get a little bit of that delicious strawberry salsa. Mmm. Got the texture from the skin and that charred smokiness combined with the sweetness and spice from that salsa. This is in for, you are in for a treat if you do this. All right, and that's it folks. Here we have it, cedar plank salmon cooked over the brio with a delicious strawberry salsa. This is surely one to try. The crispy skin, a little more technical. The cedar plank just takes a little bit longer but has some excellent texture in it. I mean, you gotta get a whiff of that. It's just so good. Breaks off, has so much moisture in. All right, 
that's it. I'm going to dig in. You guys have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Mm. That is really tasty, guys.